Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. Today's video is all about ABG interpretation, a very important topic from both practical and examination point of view. Before entering into the topic, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Let's get into the session. Before discussing about ABG interpretation, we need to know what is ABG and why is it essential to know ABG. Arterial blood gas analysis is the essential part of diagnosing and managing the patient's oxygenation status and acid-base balance. To interpret ABG, we need to familiarize with some of the normal values. The first one is pH and its normal value ranges between 7.35 to 7.45. Next is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide ranging between 35 to 45 mmHg. Next will be bicarbonate ranging between 22 to 26. Next comes the partial pressure of oxygen ranging between 80 to 100 mmHg. And finally comes Oxygen saturation SpO2 ranging between 95 to 100 percentage. By knowing the values of the three parameters pH, PaCO2, and bicarbonate, it is pretty enough to interpret an ABG. Let's discuss them one by one. What is pH? pH is nothing but the measure of hydrogen ion concentration of a solution. As discussed before, the normal value of pH ranges between 7.35 to 7.45. When pH falls below 7.35, it indicates acidosis, and when it goes more than 7.45, it indicates alkalosis. In acidosis, the hydrogen ion concentration is more, and in alkalosis, the hydrogen ion concentration is less. So this is the basic concept we need to remember that is if pH is less it means acidosis where the hydrogen ion concentration is more and when pH is more it means alkalosis where the hydrogen ion concentration is less. Here you can see a picture of a referee and two boxers where the referee is pH and the two boxers are PaCO2 and bicarbonate respectively. This indicates that the pH is regulated or maintained by the PaCO2 and bicarbonate levels. In general, pH of plasma is controlled by the bicarbonates and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Lungs regulate the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and kidneys regulate the bicarbonates. And hence, both lungs and kidneys help to maintain the normal level of pH. Next coming to PaCO2. As we discussed before, the normal level ranges between 35 to 45 mmHg. When it goes beyond 45 mmHg, it is acidic and if it is less than 35 mmHg, it is basic. Next will be bicarbonate whose normal level is between 22 to 26. If it goes beyond 26, it is basic and if it falls below 22 then it is acidic so the basic concept is when the pacO2 goes beyond the normal level it is acidic and when bicarbonate goes beyond the normal level it is basic when we receive an ABG strip by looking at the level of pH we decide if it is acidosis or alkalosis that is when it falls below 7.35 it is acidosis and if it goes more than 7.45 it is alkalosis. Now let's discuss how we decide if it is respiratory or metabolic. Here you can see the image of PaCO2, pH and bicarbonate. Near PaCO2, there is a picture of lung which indicates that lung controls the level of PaCO2 and there is an image of kidney along with bicarbonate which indicates kidney controls the level of bicarbonate. Let's begin with few examples. Here you can see the lever of each parameter moving to either of the side to denote the abnormality. First comes pH whose value is 7.30. Next is the PaCO2, 
whose value is 48 and next bicarbonate whose value is 25. Let's analyze one by one. First is the pH value 7.30 which is below the normal level which indicates it is acidosis. And the next is the PaCO2 level which is more than normal 48 which also indicates it is acidic. The next is bicarbonate level which is within the normal range that is between 22 to 26. Considering all the values, we come to a conclusion that the ABG is respiratory acidosis. Let's move on to the next example. The pH value is below the normal level 7.30. The PaCO2 level is 43 and the bicarbonate level is less than the normal level that is 20. The level of pH 7.30 is below the normal level which indicates it is acidosis. PaCO2 is within the normal range that is 43 and bicarbonate indicates it is below the normal range and hence it is also acidic. Therefore, we come to a conclusion that the ABG is metabolic acidosis since there is an abnormality with bicarbonate and pH. Let's look into the next example. The lever of pH goes beyond the normal range that is 7.52. Lever of the parameter pHCO2 lies within the normal range that is 38. The lever of bicarbonate parameter moves beyond the normal level that is 30. Looking into each of the parameter, value of pH which is above the normal level indicates it is alkalosis. Level of PaCO2 is lying within the normal range and the value of bicarbonate is more than the normal value 30 which indicates it is basic. Considering all the parameters, we come to a conclusion that the ABG is metabolic alkalosis since there is abnormality with pH and bicarbonate. In simple terms, basic along with basic. Looking into the next example, the lever of pH goes beyond the normal range that is 7.50. The lever of the parameter pHCO2 goes below the normal range that is 30 and lever of bicarbonate lies within the normal range that is 25. Analyzing all, level of pH which is above the normal range indicates it is alkalosis. The level of pHCO2 is below the normal level which indicates it is basic. Bicarbonate level is normal. So we can come to a conclusion that the ABG is respiratory alkalosis since there is an abnormality with pH and pHCO2. In simple terms, basic along with basic. The next example is for you viewers. You can analyze all the parameters and write your answers in the comment box. For clues, the level of pH is above the normal level, 7.53. The level of pHCO2 is below the normal level, 33. And the level of bicarbonate lies within the normal range, that is 23. And hope it is easy for you to answer now. Let's move on to ABG Compensation Taking respiratory acidosis into consideration, the two important parameters to be looked into is pH and PaCO2. Here, there is decrease in pH and increase in PaCO2. And this increase in PaCO2 is the primary disturbance. To compensate this, metabolic regulation takes place by kidney and the kidney does this by increasing the bicarbonate level, which is called as the secondary response. Now, taking respiratory alkalosis into consideration, the two parameters are pH and pHCO2. Here, there is increase in pH and decrease in pHCO2, which we call the primary disturbance. Metabolic regulation takes place by kidney and the kidney here decreases the bicarbonate level to compensate this which we call the secondary response. So 
there is always a primary disturbance followed by the secondary response in order to compensate the abnormality. In respiratory abnormality, the renal system plays the role of compensating this either by increasing or decreasing the bicarbonate level. Next, considering metabolic acidosis, the pH is decreased and the bicarbonate is also decreased, which is the primary disturbance. In order to compensate this, the respiratory system, that is, the lungs, act by decreasing the PaCO2 level, which we call the secondary response. Next will be metabolic alkalosis, where there is increase in pH and increase in bicarbonate level, which is the primary disturbance. In order to compensate this, the respiratory system acts by increasing the PaCO2 level, which is the secondary response. Hence, the primary disturbance is in the renal system and the respiratory system, that is the lungs, take the role of compensating either by decreasing or increasing the PaCO2 level. Now, degrees of compensation. Given here are the keywords which are very useful in interpreting ABG. First one is uncompensated, which indicates the body doesn't attempt to correct the acid-base balance. Partially compensated where body is trying to correct the imbalance by the secondary response either by increasing or decreasing PaCO2 and the bicarbonate levels. Here the blood pH is abnormal. In fully compensated the blood pH is normal because the body is correcting the imbalance through the secondary response by increasing or decreasing the PaCO2 or bicarbonate level. Hence, looking into the examples, if all the parameters that is the pH, bicarbonate and pHCO2 levels are abnormal, it is partially compensated. When pH is normal and the other two parameters are abnormal, then it is a fully compensated. For an easy understanding, it is given in a table form. First is the respiratory acidosis where pH is decreased. The primary disturbance is increase in PaCO2 and the secondary response is increasing bicarbonate. Respiratory alkalosis where there is increase in pH and the primary disturbance is decrease in the PaCO2 and the secondary response is by decreasing the bicarbonate. Third is metabolic acidosis where pH level is decreased. The primary disturbance is decrease in bicarbonate. And the secondary response will be decreasing the PaCO2. Here, all the levels are decreased. In metabolic alkalosis, there is increase in pH level and the primary disturbance is increase in bicarbonate level. And the secondary response is increasing the PaCO2. And here, all the levels are increased. Let's learn it with example. Here, the level of pH is below the normal level that is 7.30. Level of PaCO2 is above the normal level that is 48 and the level of bicarbonate is also above the normal range that is 28. Here pH is decreased which indicates it is acidic and PaCO2 is increased which also indicates it is acidic and hence we interpret this as respiratory acidosis that is acid along with acid. But the bicarbonate level is also abnormal, that is, it is increased. Some level of compensation has taken place and it is a partially compensated one because the level of pH is abnormal. The explanation is, the blood pH level is abnormal, that is, that is below the normal range and hence there is more hydrogen ion concentration. To compensate this primary disturbance, the kidney takes the role of compensating by excreting the hydrogen ion and retaining the bicarbonate and hence the level of bicarbonate is increased, which goes above the normal level and hence this is called a partially compensated respiratory acidosis. Looking into the next example, the level of pH is 7.52. PaCO2 is 47 and bicarbonate is 30. pH level is increased which indicates it is alkalosis. Level of bicarbonate is also increased and hence we come to a conclusion that it is 
metabolic alkalosis that is basic and basic. The level of PaCO2 is also abnormal that is more than the normal range. Hence it is a partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. Here the respiratory system has taken the role of compensating the abnormality by increasing the PaCO2. The mechanism behind this is hypoventilation where carbon dioxide is retained and hence the level of PaCO2 goes beyond the normal range. Looking at the next example, the level of pH is 7.30, level of PaCO2 is 32 and bicarbonate level is 20. Looking into pH, it is below the normal range and hence it indicates acidosis. The level of bicarbonate is also below the normal range that is 20 which indicates it is also acidic and acid along with acid we come to a conclusion that it is metabolic acidosis. PaCO2 level is also abnormal which is below the normal range. So it is a partially compensated metabolic acidosis. Getting into the explanation, body is trying to correct the imbalance here by decreasing the PaCO2 level. And the mechanism behind is hyperventilation where excess carbon dioxide is blown off and hence there is decrease in the level of PaCO2. Next example is level of pH is 7.49 which is above the normal range. Level of PaCO2 is 30 and bicarbonate level is 20. Taking pH into consideration it is above the normal range and hence it is alkalosis. Now PaCO2 is less than the normal range which indicates it is basic. Hence basic along with basic we come to a conclusion that it is a respiratory alkalosis. Bicarbonate level is also abnormal which is less than the normal range that is 20. Hence there is some kind of compensation and hence it is a partially compensated respiratory alkalosis. The explanation is body is trying to correct the imbalance with the secondary response by decreasing the bicarbonate level. The kidney acts upon here by excreting the bicarbonates and retains the hydrogen ion and hence there is decrease in the bicarbonate level. The next example is a bit confusing one. Here the pH level is normal 7.35, PaO2 is 48 and bicarbonate level is 28. Because pH is somewhere in the normal state 7.35 we can still consider it is in the acidic state and taking PaO2 into consideration it is above the normal range which indicates it is also acidic. So acid along with acid we can consider this ABG as a respiratory acidosis. Because the pH lies within the normal range this is concluded as a fully compensated respiratory acidosis. The explanation is the body has corrected the imbalance with the secondary response by increasing the bicarbonate. Here the kidney has taken the role of compensation by retaining the bicarbonate and excreting the hydrogen ions. And so it is a fully compensated respiratory acidosis. This is all about ABG interpretation. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.